They do so much damage. I heal a little bit. Oh, I died. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell to be notified for future videos. Hello everyone and welcome to another Minecraft video. In today's video, we are going to play Skyblock on Hypixel. This is currently popping off. There's loads of hype around it. It's got nearly 12,000 people playing it. I have no idea what it is, so we're gonna go ahead and play it. This is your island. The Skyblock universe has many lands to discover, secrets to uncover and people to meet. Collect resources, craft items, complete objectives to advance your way through Skyblock. Objective is to break a log. I can do this. Log is broken. Right, we need to make a workbench. Foraging plus six. Do we get better skills? Interesting. Or is it a challenge? You get mana? Can you cast spells? Oh my lord, what is going on? So the workbench is made. I'm just going to plop it down here. We're going to make a wooden pickaxe, which we can do. That's fine. So now we've got the wooden pickaxe. What does it want me to do? I need to talk to someone called Jerry. Is that enough to get to Jerry? I think it should be enough. We're going to try and get across to my boy, Jerry. So let's go over here. Oh, I've done that wrong. Come on, Jerry. What secrets do you have for me? And we have made it. Hello, Jerry. Your Skyblock Island is part of a much larger universe. The universe is full of islands to explore. Use the portal to warp to the first of those islands. Oh my goodness, this is getting exciting. Who are you? I don't know who you are, but you look adorable. Let's go. Oh, there's loads of people here. This is cool. Why do they have so much health? They must be way higher levels than me, I'm assuming. Talk to the villagers. Okay, Leo, what have you got for me? Oh, so the adventurer sells you artifacts, which must do stuff. Okay, they drop things, reduces damage. Cool, I like it. And then we've got this one over here, which is Jamie. Okay, what have you got for me? A rogue sword. So I've got to get coins, then come back and buy ingredients and stuff like that. Okay. So you can level up stats. I thought you could. That's cool. There's not actually the traders I need to speak to. It is the villagers. I misread it. I was going around clicking and talking to all the traders. Although I got a fancy new sword, so that's okay. Okay, so you can access your ender chest at any time to store my items. Ray. Or Ryu, sorry. I thought I said Ray. I know, he's cow sick. I need to get wheat. How much wheat do you need? Excellent. Farming experience has gone up. Moo indeed, cow. Moo indeed. So this is like a RPG. This is pretty cool. I like this. I can see why this is super popular. I'm just going to quickly go around and speak to all of these villagers. Okay, all the villagers have been spoken to. So now I need to explore the hub. So is that by going into each of these, maybe? All the new areas? There's a darkness in me, says the alchemist. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Said I should go to the farm first. So let's head over to the farm. Do I have a map? I've got a diamond chest plate from somewhere and I don't know where it came from. I feel like someone dropped it for me. So I've put it on. So these are the mines. They said I should go to the mines as well. So we'll do the mines first. What is in the mines for me today? Do I just get the coal? Cool. So I'm just going to get my mining skill up then. There we go. Mining skill has gone up. I've got 4% chance to get double ores and I can now mine gold. Excellent. Uh-oh. Take that, zombie. I was worried I wouldn't be able to take mobs on yet, but I can actually take them on, so that's okay. Is there stuff further down if we go into the coal mine? Are we going to find gold? I'm assuming gold will give me more experience when I mine it. So let's head further down into the caves. I'm going all the way down. I don't see anything yet. Oh, wow. Is there no gold? Is it literally... I know it's called a coal mine, but I thought maybe something further down. I do actually have a quest while I'm in the coal mine, actually. I need to speak to the blacksmith. So let's head to the top and speak to the blacksmith. Wherever he may be. Where are you? Uh-oh. I've come out in the graveyard. I've come out in the wrong place. Okay. Is there anything in the graveyard? Zombies. I can beat the zombies up. That's fine. Was that a crit? Nice. Got rotten flesh. There's just more zombies. I don't feel like there's anything really in here other than grinding combat. So I should probably head out of here. Out. Yeah, let's head out before I die to all the zombies. Oh my goodness. I think I might die. Yo, how do I get out of here? I went the wrong way. Let me out. Ah, there we go. I died and lost 99 coins. My goodness. Let's head back to the mines. And once we've gone back to the mines, we'll speak to the blacksmith. I managed to get some coal and a quest from the blacksmith. And I reforged my rogue sword into a superior rogue sword. But now I have to go and warp to the gold mine. So I'm assuming I have to go back into the mine. Work my way through the coal mine to get to the gold mine. I'm assuming that's how this works. I've also lost where the mine is. 
I'm not used to the layout of the map yet, so this is taking a while. So the warp pad, ow, falling to my doom, has to be in here. Maybe if I just run straight through. Let's not go down. Let's just run straight ahead. There we go. Warp to the gold mine. Oh my goodness. I love it. Let's go. So there's a lazy miner to speak to. I can get gold, iron, and coal. I can visit the iron and gold forger. And there is also a blacksmith. Talk to the lazy miner. Where's this lazy miner? Is he inside? He's going to be inside, isn't he? Lazy miner, I found you. Hello, you look like a dwarf. I've lost my good pickaxe in the mines. It's probably somewhere down there. Can you find it? Do you know what, sir? I can go find your pickaxe. That is not a problem. Let's go. I feel like when I find this pickaxe, he's going to give me one as a reward. But if it's a stone pickaxe, I've just made one. Can I get this iron? I guess I've got to take this to the iron forger for him to do something with it to turn it into iron ore. So I'm going to get plenty of this. I'll get at least 10. 10 seems like a good number. Also putting up my mining level, which is good. It's going to hit the next level soon. Two more. We should be good. There we go. Splunker, rank 2. 8% chance for double ores. Wow. That's pretty good. Where's his pickaxe going to be? It's not going to be somewhere mad like on one of these platforms, is it? Okay. He lost it in the mines, but we don't have a quest marker or anything, and I'm assuming these mines are massive. Oh, there's gold here. I might as well get the gold as well. Oh, wow. Gold takes a long time to mine, and I didn't even get any. There's a giant fire pit, but no sign of a pickaxe. Ah! There we go. You found an iron pickaxe. Okay, I've got to collect iron and gold ingots. Ooh, does that mean I can get gold? It does. There we go. If I use the iron pickaxe that's enchanted, it turns them into ingots instantly. My next objective is mining level five. This is going to take me a while, guys. So I will come back to you when that is done. Six and a half hours later. There we go. I have reached smithing level five. It's telling me to go deep caverns, but I feel like I'm going to go back up and see what the gold and the iron forger is. I'm assuming they just smelt my ores down for me, but I'm going to go ahead and have a look. I could do with making some gear, actually, out of everything that I've got. Maybe one day I'll go back down there. Well, I found your pickaxe for you. You'd go mining, but it's too lazy. That's understandable. It's a mood. Hello, gold forger. I love gold. Click me again to open the gold forger. Brewing ingredients is a lot of gold. A fancy sword. So it does 20 damage, five coins per monster level on kill. Do you know what? I'm going to buy a fancy sword. So I can buy equipment from him, but can I not just make it myself? Like, can I not just do this? I can. Hello, iron forger. So he's got chain mail, which is obviously better. And I've got enough iron that I don't actually need him. I'll just make it myself. Yeah, so I can make my own gear that's better than his anyway. So we're going to go ahead and just start making gear. And I think, to be honest, that is a full set of armor. And my defense has gone up to 90. I'm going to switch out that sword for the fancy sword. And now we will head deep into the cavern. Hello, Mr. Blacksmith. I wish to forge my fancy sword to make it better. 250 coins. Let's do that, please. Thank you very much. I've reforged it. It's got loads of stats. That's crazy. It's a hurtful fancy sword. So we're heading down. We're going to find the deep caverns and see what waits for us down there. I'm assuming the warp pad is here. Ooh, lava. Interesting. Away we go. New zone discovered. In we go. There's quite a few people here. So we've got to speak to the lift operator, get valuable ores, but watch out for mobs. There's mobs in here. Gunpowder mines. Interesting. Talk to the lift operator. Where's the lift operator? Ah, there's the lift operator. Do I speak to him and then we go down? Hello, fella. I control the lift behind me. Once you've explored an area, I can give you a safe ride back there. Okay. So we have to head down manually. And then once we've been down manually, we can then use the lift to come back. Or to head straight back down there. Just need to find where this quarry is. Is this the way down? Ooh, okay. She's steep. This must be the way down. Here's the lapis. So let's start getting that. Reach the pigmen den. He's a level 7 lapis zombie. I don't know what level I am. You don't really have levels, do you? You just have stats. Everyone's got so much more health than me. I'm a little bit worried. Oh, I do have a fair bit of damage, actually. Oh my goodness, they do damage as well. Wow, they do so much damage. I heal a little bit. Oh, I died. And I lost a lot of coins. Maybe that's too high level for me and I should go other places for now. But hopefully you enjoyed today's episode of Skyblock. I will definitely be playing more of this in the future as it is amazing. It's just an MMO in Minecraft. 
I think I should set up a live stream as well and we should live stream some and you guys can join me for that. But as always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.